okay? The tape is rolling. Pamela. Excuse me, ma'am? She said Pamela. Uh, maybe she prefers not being called Mrs. Voorhees. Mrs. Voorhees, I'm Police Chief Tom Kelly. Detective Madry and I want to ask you a few questions, if that's all right. Pamela? Uh, we're very sorry about the loss of your son. And we appreciate you... His name was Jason. Yes, ma'am. Jason. I understand he was uh, 12 years old and he was not uh, capable of normal... The report says his mind was... There is nothing wrong with my son. Jason is a wonderful boy. He just needs to be watched over. I always have done that. I've always protected him. Always. My Jason is very special. Yes, ma'am, I'm sure he was. I understand you are the cook at Camp Crystal Lake and... I was promised that these counselors were responsible. That's why I took the job. These Christian teenagers would help look after my son while I worked. That's why I took this job. I was lied to. Mrs. Voorhees, I'm sure these kids were just... Fucking. That's what they were doing. That's what all of them were doing. No, no, ma'am. The counselors were... Were you there? No, you were not. Mrs. Voorhees, please. I was there, doing my job, washing the dishes of these selfish, irresponsible... Ma'am, you need to... <laughs> you don't... You don't understand. I heard him. I heard my Jason calling for me from the lake. He was calling for his... his mother. <laughs> Mommy... Help, Mommy. Help me, Mommy. <laughs> Ma'am? But it couldn't have been him, I kept thinking. It had to be just me imagining, you know? When you hear a voice sometimes in your head. Captain, I'm going to get Mrs. Voorhees some water. Why don't we take a few minutes to... So I didn't go to my baby. Because I thought he was safe. I thought he was sleeping cozy in our cabin. But none of them were doing what they promised me. Jason was left all alone. They were not protecting him. They didn't care. Having sex was more important. Mrs. Voorhees, we are going to stop now. We're going to get you some water and... He couldn't swim. Did you know that? I tried to teach him. But he was... He was terrified of the water. I'm going to send Deputy Kroger to the diner. What would you like to eat? Captain, could you shut off the tape recorder, please? Why would he go out there in that tiny little boat? He was trying to be brave. He wanted Mommy to know he was a brave boy. He was 10 years old yesterday. Did you know that? Did any of you know it was his birthday? Okay, Mrs. Voorhees. That's all we need for the moment. <laughs> Has anyone found him yet? My Jason? Oh, God, my baby must be so cold. Testing, testing. Okay, Mrs. Voorhees. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you prefer I call you Pamela? Ma'am, do you have a preference? Joe, let's just get on with it. Yes, sir. Uh, Mrs. Voorhees, you said Jason was your only child. That's correct? Jason is my only son. And his father, uh, deceased since 19... I don't know. I don't know where he is. You mean where he's buried, ma'am? No. I don't know where Jason's father is. I haven't seen him since he... Let me see that. Mrs. Voorhees, this statement says you are widowed, that your husband is dead. My husband was killed, but he was not Jason's father. So you were married before, ma'am? No, this man did not marry me. We met, it doesn't matter where we met. He held me down by my throat. He forced himself into me. He made me stare into his eyes as he, he. Raped you, ma'am? I tried to stop him. But he was too strong. It was his eyes. His eyes were, he had so much hatred. I couldn't stop him. He'd kill me. Did you report this? Pamela, did you ever report him? 
What was done was done. It didn't matter anymore. Nothing mattered. I just needed to take care of my son. My dear Jason. Sir, we have a report there's a major storm coming in. We have to call off the search. We're having the men get off the lake and resume tomorrow. Okay. What do you mean, okay? My son is out there. You have to find him. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's not safe being on the lake if there's a lightning strike. You fucking bastards! Go find my little boy now! Sit down, Mrs. Voorhees. No! God damn you! Mrs. Voorhees, you need to calm down. Are you heartless? He's my child! He's down in that lake! Find him! Let go of me! Let go, you fucking animals! You'll pay for this. I swear to God, you will pay for this! You fuck! Jason? Jason, are you awake? Baby? Are you dreaming? You can hear mommy, can't you? Jason? You know I love you so much. I never want to lose you. Never. You're my baby. You're... Shh, baby. I know you're scared. But these men are going to help me find you. I'm coming now to get you. Mommy would never leave you. Never, ever. You're my son. My Jason. No one will ever take you away from... All right, Mrs. Voorhees. We're going to give you a ride home now. If needed, we'll continue this tomorrow morning. I'm not going home without my son. Mrs. Voorhees, we're going to start searching the lake as soon as there's light. No, I will not leave him alone. He's never been left alone. You take me to him. Chief, the recorder's on. I remember you turning it off. I did. Uh, Pamela, why did you turn... Take me to my son! It's late, and he needs to be in bed. Joe, shut the recorder off. No! God damn you! You just... No. God damn you! God damn all of you! Is this thing working? Okay, now it's on. Good. Uh, Mrs. Voorhees. Uh, Pamela. Pamela, this is Dr. Jarvis. Have you ever met him before? He's been the family doctor in Crystal Lake for... I don't know him. Hello, Mrs. Voorhees. Would it be all right with you if we could talk? I know you haven't slept all night. That's understandable. I can't imagine how hard it is to lose your only child. What do you mean? Detective, would you mind leaving us alone to talk? Well, to be honest, Doctor, I really don't think you should be left alone with him. I want to talk to him. Alone. It'll be fine, Detective. Yes, Detective. Leave. We'll be right outside the door. If you need anything. Bring my son back to me. We're searching for him now. Every officer here and in the county are at Crystal Lake. Not you two. Why? You don't care? Detective, we'll be here. You go do what you need to do. We'll be right outside the door. Okay. First off, may I call you by your first name? No. <laughs> That's fine, Mrs. Voorhees. Do you have children? Um, unfortunately not. But my wife and I are trying. Do you want a boy or a girl? I'd be happy with either. Have you picked a name? <laughs> Actually, we talk about it a lot. If it's a girl, we like Rachel and Thomas if it's a boy. Rachel and Tommy. Yes. I was going to call my son Joshua, but when I saw him, when they took him from inside me and put him in my arms, I knew his name was Jason. Hmm. He must have been a wonderful boy. He is. Jason is a wonderful boy. Mrs. Voorhees, I'm... Pamela. You may call me Pamela. Oh, okay. Pamela. I'm just a medical doctor, basically. But Detective Madry wanted me to come talk with you about the situation with your son. What do you mean? Well, they're concerned that if they're unable to... Uh, Dr. Jarvis, the chief needs to speak with you. Immediately. He's calling from the camp. We'll continue this later. What happened? Did they find my son? I want you all to know something. You're going to be punished for what you have done. My child is laying at the bottom of that lake. He's all alone, freezing. And you, you do nothing. God damn you. I hope you all burn in hell. 
Mrs. Voorhees, what's going? What are you doing? Stop that! Leave me alone. Get out of here! Mrs. Voorhees, please, give me the microphone. Give me my boy back! You fucking... Police Chief Kelly! Kelly! Okay, ma'am, let's simmer down. No! I'll kill you! I'll fucking kill all of you! Is it recording now? Uh, yes, sir. That fixed it. <clears throat> this is Police Chief Michael Kelly of the Crystal Lake Sheriff's Department. Today is June 15th, 1957. The time is 9.54 p.m. This recording is the confession of Pamela Voorhees to the murder of Elias Voorhees, her husband and father of son, Jason. No, I did not say that. Ma'am, you just told me a few minutes ago you killed your husband, and you agreed to let us tape your confession. I did kill him. I, I had to. He was hurting my Jason. Again. Fine. He was hurting his son and... No, you fucking moron. Jason was not his son. I've told you that. <sighs> okay, Mrs. Voorhees, why don't you tell me again? About Jason's father? I don't know his name. He never said a word to me that night. He just did what he wanted to me. Then left me there, bleeding. And after all these years, you've not seen him again. I would never, ever want to see him again. Ever. Then Jason never knew his real father. I married Elias because he was strong. I thought he would protect us. Protect you? Yes, from him. I could feel he was out there, watching us, wanting to take Jason away from me. So why would you want to kill your husband, Elias? Because he was hurting your son? Joe, let her answer. Why did you kill him? Because Jason wanted me to. He told me to. Kill him, Mommy. He's hurting me, Mommy. You kill him. So this very young child, your son, told you to kill your husband? Yes. <sighs> Mrs. Voorhees, as I understand your son's condition, I find it hard to believe that he spoke to you, much less... How dare you? My son's condition? No, no, Pamela. He didn't mean it. I am done talking to you. All of you. I don't trust any of you. I'm going to find my son myself. Mrs. Voorhees, please don't leave. We need to continue your... Fuck you. You are nothing but heartless murderers. You are leaving my son to die all alone out there. It's dark out, Pamela. You could get hurt. You're the ones who will get hurt. All of you. This camp now has a death curse. Don't ever forget that. Chief, should I... Let her go. Poor bitch is off her rocker. Can't believe a goddamn thing she says. We're done here. 